What are you doing? Working away. Do you have your wallet? Yeah, my wallet, my Ridge wallet. I like it a lot, actually. Over uh, 30,000 positive five-star reviews. Well, it comes in over 30 different colors and designs. What's your favorite color? Favorite color, uh, definitely black or gold. Can I have your credit card? No, you can't have my credit card. Why would I give you that? And what's your credit card that's the highest limit? Uh, the gold one. Two hours later. I love shoes. Oh, hey, nice shoes. Where'd you get them? I bought them. You bought them? With what? I stole your credit card. You what? Yeah, but I bought you something too. What do you mean you bought me something? Why'd you steal my credit card? Shoes, but just look what I bought you. The Ridge 18 karat gold plated. Expands to hold 12 cards, RFID blocking, backed by a lifetime warranty. You also get a 45 day trial? Gold plated. Well, this is awesome, but that does not excuse your behavior. I'm just kidding. I bought it for myself. No, give it back. So huge thanks to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. So definitely go check out ridge.com forward slash Joel. Use that link down below. And use that code on screen, Joel, for 10% off and worldwide free ship. Hey, everyone. Joel Hans here today. We're at Donegal's, which looks like Donegal's Irish pub. So Donegal's to do their burger challenge. So it's somewhere about a six pound burger challenge. Um, it has multiple patties and it's served with french fries and potato wedges, maybe even potato skins. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you... I don't know if there's a record. Um, and then I think it's like maybe an hour for this challenge. I'll confirm all the details for you. But yeah, it looks like a delicious challenge. Here my good friend Mr. Scott. Scott actually did this challenge. Scott, you did it in what, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Scott did it before my first time though. So let's go see what we can do. Let's have some fun and let's eat some burgers. Alright everyone, so here are the burger challenges. So they're absolutely massive, looks delicious. So we have five massive patties, a whole bunch of pulled pork, a whole bunch of bacon, a whole bunch of cheese. We then have chorizo, we have an egg on it. We then have french fries and I think there's potato skins also on the burger as well, all the toppings. Um, we do have 30 minutes to complete it uh, to get the meal for free. Uh, otherwise we're unfortunately, not unfortunately, but otherwise we're paying for the challenge. So Scott, ready to meeting? Absolutely, yeah. So starving. Looks really good. We're gonna clarify the record here momentarily, and uh, that's about it. So looks delicious. It smells great. Irish burger challenge, y'all. Everybody, so we're going to start. Looks absolutely delicious. So the record we did clarify was just under 10 minutes. Lady said, uh, got some ketchup, of course. I'm all about that ketchup life. But yeah, Scott, ready to meet you? Absolutely. Starving. Always starving. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So with that, I guess we might as well get started. Okay. We'll say the count of five. Four. That's pretty good. Still, it's still a lot, but it's good. So five, four, three, two, and then let's eat. Try Scott. Two. Mushroom. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Donegal's, or I like to pronounce it Donny Gals, which is an Irish pub and or restaurant in Surrey, British Columbia, so just outside of Vancouver. So today I'm here with my good friend Mr. Scott to do their burger challenge. So this burger challenge, it's about a five, five and a half, six pound uh, weight on the challenge consisting of a very big burger and then a reasonable portion um, or side of fries. On the burger there, as I mentioned, was a whole bunch of different kinds of meats and although the chorizo isn't normally on it, for some reason they added it on there for us. Um, not complaining, but we didn't ask for it. Um, but it all did taste very good, and uh, it, you know the small addition didn't make any difference. It was very enjoyable, in fact. So maybe that's something they'll do from now on, because it was tasty. Pretty tasty. <clears throat> Definitely a nice body in there. It's cooked very nicely. As I mentioned, Scott had previously done this challenge before, and he did it in about 10 minutes. However, he fell short of the old record, which was about nine and a half, or just under 10 minutes. So we were both uh, hoping to be able to beat that uh, previous record of, I'm gonna say like nine and a half minutes. We'll just say it was nine and a half. So hoping to beat that nine and a half minutes, and again, we do have 30 minutes to complete this challenge, which for an intermediate eater is a pretty reasonable time limit. Some chorizo? I want to give a huge thank you to the staff as they were all super supportive, super accommodating. Um, we actually like asked, well we called in advance and asked for if we could get like a table near the window and they got us the perfect table here near the window, gave us some really good lighting. They added the trees on specifically for us. Mm -hmm. I guess they think we like food. And all the other patrons in the restaurant as well also were very supportive and intrigued by the challenge and they thought it was pretty cool. 
Um, although they do have some attempts, I guess like they don't have they don't have attempts every day. I'll put it that way. But they do have some attempts here and there, and it always provides a good bit of entertainment. And that's where I think a lot of the value of food challenges really comes to restaurants. Not only is it free marketing, free advertising. Not only do they you know get situations where they have individuals like myself and Scott who have a social media base to come try it, but it also does provide a unique experience for individuals. Just over two and a half minutes in. And specifically those individuals, well, not only who's doing the challenge, but all the other, like, just patrons who are just there eating or drinking normally um, within the establishment. And then, I mean, it spreads by word of mouth because those people see it. And often you'll hear, I'm not, you know, I mean the stereotype, but generally they're men. You hear some guy be like, oh, I could do that. And then, well, I don't know if they ever actually do go do it, but they say they could anyway. Um, so yeah, basically, I think that's pretty much all the details. Um, there was pulled pork and bacon on the burger. Um, I, I very much enjoyed uh, the pulled pork. had like a barbecue sauce on it. Um, very, very tasty. Uh, the burger patties were cooked pretty well. Definitely had some uh, moisture to them. That bun is very moist. <laughs> Lots of juices. Of course, I had my good friend Mr. Ketchup there. I'm a big ketchup fan, especially with burgers and fries. Um, I use it not only as a tool, like a lubricant, um, but also just for flavor. I love ketchup, and like ketchup and beef, if, if you guys are not familiar, animals are my favorite food. Uh, cows, specifically, are definitely one of my favorite foods. Um, and, I mean, a burger with ketchup, I mean, it's just you just can't beat that experience. But with everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I think that's about it. And, uh, well, hopefully we can get some wins. Maybe we'll get some new records. And uh, ultimately, yeah, Donegal's a cool place, great food, great experience, and uh, let's get going. Got some egg there. Four and a half minutes, so just down to the fries. Scott doesn't have much of the burger left. There's some shrapnel, as he says, then his fries, so hopefully we're gunning for that record point. About five minutes, 56, 57 seconds. So a nice taste of burger challenge. Nice and juicy, lots of, lots of remaining burger juice there, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, really tasty burger, no complaints. Scotch is killing it, just basically his fries less, a couple buns. So I'll tune on in, and I think he can still get under that old record. So, in about three minutes, Scott, you got this down, brother.
Uh, on my YouTube or so my, yeah. my YouTube is Joel Hansen. Yeah, um, yeah. Kind of, Model versus is kind of like the nickname. Oh, yeah. I have my Facebook page. I think is under Joel Hansen Model versus Food as well. I'm not sure if that's all that one. Seven minutes, seven minutes, 40 seconds in. Scott's just crushing it. Down to a few morsels of French fried potato left. And he's definitely getting that old record. So, so good job to Scott. Eight minutes, thirty seconds. Absolutely crushed that. Good job, brother. Mm. So there you go. Shaved uh, probably like about two minutes off your old time. Mm. That's right. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. There you go. Scott's is my young Padawan is greatly improving on this game. <laughs> Scott's doing great. He's a great eater. Um, so everybody, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Donigals or Donny Gals, as I like to say, <laughs> for having us out. Um, so yeah, I mean, hey, it's a pretty reasonable burger challenge. So it's like an intermediate level difficulty. Uh, of course, we also had some added chorizo on, which is not normally standard. However, very much enjoyed it. Nothing wrong with that. Burgers are, you can't go wrong. It's a burger. I like burgers, anyway. So everybody, until next time, say happy all the hungry. Of course, happy eating. And you know what to do, which is don't do what we do and live your life. Yeah, bro. YOLO. Yeah, YOLO and goodbye, everybody. Awesome, a huge thanks to our friend Brian. Thanks for coming out, Brian. Hey, very much. Pleasure. Yeah, how, what'd you think of the show? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it was awesome. It's a, uh, it, it was good, good challenge. Always great to have some people come by. So thanks so much, my friend. All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And uh, till next time when we're back in Surrey. Hi, squirrel. Hey. Put a piece of wood in your mouth. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, squirrel. <laughs> Hi! Be fun the squirrels. Yeah. Vancouver squirrels. Hello, Vancouver squirrel. Yeah, you're excited, Vancouver squirrel. What are you looking at? Oh, got a piece of wood. There you go, squirrel. He's like, what are you doing? You started it. It's like the 60 year old guy, just a little bit of shit. He's like, ah, that's not a white one. You want to do this? I know how to do this now. That's the super shy one. Yeah, it's probably what he's going for. Yeah, I wish you would have.